Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowland here with Yerksville First Midvale and Newport United Methodist Church bringing you a devotional today out of John 14, verse 6. As many of you know the words of Jesus, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody comes to the Father except through me or by me, as other translations say. And this is one of those verses that, that just really, really show us that Jesus truly believed two things really important. One, that he was the Son of God, that he was God incarnate, that he was God the Son, because he is the one that held the keys to heaven. And so for those of those people that say, well, Jesus was just a good moral teacher and nothing more, it's really hard to explain away these words when he says, I am the only way to the Father, as if he held the very keys to let us into heaven. And number two, that Jesus believed he was the only way of salvation. And the reason that I bring that up is because there has been a recent push by modern audiences in the modern church and the progressive movement to paint Jesus as kind of like this open-minded person. In fact, I've heard it preached before that Jesus is the, open, is the most open-minded person who ever lived. Now, that doesn't make any sense when Jesus makes one of the most offensive and, and one, of the most, one of the most exclusive statements there is. You know, everyone says, well, Jesus is all about inclusion. Jesus is not about inclusion. He is about the, the, the one true way of salvation, and that is through him. There is no other way to God. There is no other way to heaven because nobody else dealt with the sin issue. Jesus wasn't being, wasn't trying to exclude people. He was merely giving them the truth and saying, if you want heaven, if that is your goal, if, if that is your desire, then he is that only way because only he bought and paid for heaven. So he is the way, the way to God. He is the truth. In fact, he is the very essence of truth, and he is life, life eternal. You know, John says that the thief comes but to, well, Jesus says the thief comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come that you might have life and might have it abundantly. Jesus is that one who grants abundant life, and it was bought and paid for by his blood shed on the cross. Amen.